Hi, welcome to Firestorm Appearance mini series. I'm FS Teresa, and this lesson covers how to change your shape, your skin, and how to add effects with tattoos. Please note that this is for system or classic avatars, and that it works a bit differently uh, for those with mesh bodies. There's more than one way to change your avatar's body and facial shape. The Second Life Marketplace and several of the Second Life stores will sell, some will even give away, nice looking shapes. If you do decide to buy a shape, make sure that it's for a classic avatar and not one for mesh bodies. The face for mesh body shapes will look very contorted and deformed on a system body. If you don't want to purchase a shape, you can also edit your shape to change it yourself. Simply right click your avatar and select Edit My Shape. Your avatar will then pose and the appearance window will pop up to the Editing My Shape tab. Uh, if you happen to be on Firestorm, it's called Edit Shape instead of Editing My Shape. Editing Shape has several tabs for your body, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your chin, or so your legs. Um, if you're looking to change hands and arms, they're going to be found on the torso tab. And if you're looking for your feet, they're found on the legs tab. Uh, also should mention that on the Firestorm viewer, these are going to be across the top instead of down the side, these tabs. Each one of these tabs has several parameters. If you enter a value for a parameter, you can do so with the slider or you can type in the number specifically. Uh, the left side is the minimum value and it has a picture of what the avatar looks like with that value. The right side is the maximum value and it also has a picture. Most of the time, the value that you want will be somewhere in the middle of the range. There are also little gender buttons at the top, uh, just above the shape name entry field. They let you select if this is a male or a female shape. Since I'm a girl, I'm going to use the female shape for this video, but guys, you're probably going to want to switch that to male. The best way to change your shape is to play with the sliders. Uh, before you do, before you change anything, note the value that's there so that you can get back to it if you need to. Then slide the slider around and see how it affects your avatar's look. If you don't find a look that you like better, put it back on the original value. You can do this for all nine of the edit shape categories until your avatar is looking the way you want it to look. Edit shape can be tricky and it can take several iterations over time uh, before you get just the look that you want. Once you get the shape that you want, you'll need to save your changes. I strongly, strongly recommend that you use Save As instead of Save and give the shape a new name. That way the original values are preserved and you can get back to them if you ever need to. In my example, I changed the height from 45 to 55 and then I hit the Save As button. I entered the new shape name, which I called Bitsy hyphen Shape Taller, the pop-up window, and then I hit OK. When you hit OK, the shape is saved, but you're still in the editing shape page. You can close it, um, the big X at the corner, or you, you can use the arrows to back your way all the way out to the My Outfits. Now that you know how to edit a shape, let's go ahead and use one. I will apply a new skin and a new hair, and it will create a very different look. I will be using the Renee skin, color Hazel. It came with a default shape, but I modified that shape to have a wider nose. I saved it as um, Renee shape 2, wider nose. Um, I find this shape in inventory, and I right-click Wear. It may be called Replace instead of Wear if you're on Firestorm. Then I find the skin, which is Renee Hazel Pure Dark Brown, and I wear or replace it as well. The shape will change. Let's say. Uh, 
it will change sometimes immediately and sometimes there'll be a delay before you see the change. Now the other thing about skins is they frequently come with an eyebrow shaper. The shaper will change the curve and the thickness of the eyebrow and make it better suited to the skin or shape. It will also hide the default or system hair. For that reason, brow shaper is sometimes called a hair base or a bald base. Anyhow, if one of those comes with your skin or your shape, we do recommend that you wear it. Since Renee has a brow shaper, I'll right click on that and wear it as well. Now I'm going to replace the hair with one that's a bit more ethnic. So I'm going to right click the hair that I'm wearing and select detach. And then I'll find the new hair in inventory, which happens to be called FH Curls Unrigged Mesh Hair Fat Pack Francesca. And I'll right click it and select add. Renee is now in my outfits folder. But oops, look at that. There's a tattoo in there and I missed it. Um, I want to wear that tattoo. Um, it's it's a uh, eyeshadow. Also, I have a lip gloss, another tattoo that happens to be in my body parts folder and I'd like to wear it too. But I've already saved the outfit. So is it too late to make changes to it? No, it's not. The good news is that you can easily modify any saved op any saved outfit. Just find the tattoos in inventory, right click and add, and once you're wearing them, you can save that outfit. So I'm going to add my two tattoos. Notice the little arrow immediately to the right is the save as of the save as button. When you click that, you get a pull-down menu. It has two choices, save and save as. If you select save, it will add the new parts that you're wearing to your outfit. There's a gotcha to this as well, because if you'd left any parts off of your outfit and you push that save, it will take them out of the outfit. So make sure you're wearing everything you want in it before you hit save. Now that we've done save, let's look at the outfit. Notice that the two tattoo Sorry. Notice that the two tattoos have been added to it. And if you look at the close-up of her face, you can see the dark eyeshadow and the lip gloss. Now later, if you decide you want a natural look, you can remove it from your avatar. Let's say you want to remove the eyeshadow but leave the lip gloss on. All you have to do is look at the Renee outfit, find the tattoo that's named uh, Simple Black Eyeshadow, right-click it, and select Take Off. And it's gone. When you want to wear it again, you do... You can do it in either of two ways. You can right click the Renee outfit and select Wear, Add to Outfit. That'll put back all the pieces that you've taken off. Or you can expand the Renee outfit and you can find the eyeshadow uh, tattoo that's from the list. It'll be easy to find because it'll be white instead of green because it's not worn. Right click it and select Add. As you can see, some relatively minor changes can have drastic difference in your appearance. In this case, we only changed three things, the shape, the skin, and the hair. But the two looks are drastically different from each other. I put up a little picture so you can compare the two and see what a big difference those little changes have made. I encourage you to find a shape and a skin that you like, as this will help you get a distinctive look. Thank you for your attention and your time, and I hope that your second life will be a happy one.